Okay, this is Wes here, and I'm showing you the final stages of my leak build before I um, start to cover it up with resin. So, this is what it looks like. If you've never seen this particular helm before, it's because it's on the um, Lonesome Road DLC. So, if you don't have the Lonesome Road DLC, you may have never found it. But it is one of the best riot gear variant armors in Fallout New Vegas other than the advanced um, riot gear but its main difference is the um, appliance on the side is different than the one from the Ranger veteran helmet and um, this stuff here is pre-war army um, elite riot gear when you play in the game you see that it's the um, I think the guys called a riot control but these are on some of the advanced um, NCR troops have this armor but in um, the um, Lonesome Road DLC I think it's only two of these very elite type variants so this is what it looks like before I start to glass it and what this was was this uh, toy helmet that I um, put the cardboard on and then I'm going to laminate it one thing that's different about the um, elite ride gear armor is it has dual respirators along with the advanced ride gear armor so that's what this is going to be and this here is another variant of the ride gear armor this is a custom helm though so this isn't one that necessarily appeared in the game but it's just one that I kind of um, changed up using the style because I really like the way they look so it's a couple more things on this I'm going to have to work on but I'm done with primarily all of the um, work of the helm before I start to glass it. Also too you notice that there's no light in this helm it's just a this little cap here. That is because none of the riot gear armor variants have lights in them. It's just something there which I have no idea what it is. But this particular one actually has a wire that comes where the cap is and attaches like right there on the side and if you notice some of the other detail I did on this helm before I glass it is I got the round piece out right there for the appliance to fit as well as the way I did this piece of the helm now you can do peppercorn, which I do peppercorn some of it. But it seems to me that it will be a lot more easier and less time consuming. Just do it with a toy helm and just add the little cardboard pieces around it. Because once you really start to glass this and smooth this side in with, um, with fiberglass and body filler you will never know that, that part was like that anyway so you can do the cutting and all the stuff with peppercorn if you want to but this will cut down your build time which is what you want this helm right here is just a toy helm interestingly enough you can use one of the little toy helms from the dollar if you got a dollar tree in whatever city you live at that helm will work just fine because you're just adding the cardboard now the um, costume shop that I bought this from actually had a pretty decent combat helmet but it was like um, $17 so I'm saying since I'm gonna do this to it anyway it wasn't worth the expense of buying one since I'm gonna pretty much ruin and destroy it anyway by doing this to it so if you got the cash and you want to buy a World War II helmet, that's fine. That's good. 
but this will be a quick easy and inexpensive way to build one so that way you won't spend a lot of money trying to do this build I mean from the stages that I'm at now this build cost me all of probably five dollars is what it costs that's just the cost of the helmet something else too all of the advanced type of ride gear with the dual respirators it has a hose that comes from right here and attaches about right there unlike the NCR and the regular ride gear if you play the um, Lonesome Rome DLC then you'll find out what I'm talking about also too for all those people that want to know how can you repair your um, Ranger armor without using another one if you have Lonesome Road DLC or Old World Blues you can repair it the sink at um, Old World Blues will repair the um, NCR combat ranger armor and it's these little machines that are in um, Lonesome Road you can access the commissary and if you, when you have Eddie with you it will repair your um, ride gear as well or your combat armor there's also another um, combat armor if you have honest hearts which is called the desert ranger armor which is real cool looking as well but there are about I guess six different variants I'm not, I'm not remember offhand but somewhere around that six or five different variants of the combat armor if you have all of the um, DLCs from Fallout New Vegas but this is my favorite one so I will keep you posted let you know what it looks like I will probably go ahead and glass it tomorrow I don't like to leave the cardboard unprotected for too long because cardboard will soak up moisture now as far as this piece here since this is going to be a uh, part of the um the mask anyway you won't ever see it you won't ever know when I when I blend that part in you won't really be able to tell that, that was there and this will look pretty much like um, the helmet in the game now when I built this one this is a complete scratch built and the helm does not look like the one in the game and that's the way I intend it I also made this one completely out of cardboard so once I start to glass this, I'll let you know how it turns out. And then I'll jump back on this one and finish this one on up. So thanks for watching and let me know what you think. Get um Lonesome Road or just buy the um new Fallout with all the DLCs. I probably won't buy that since I have all the other DLCs. Doesn't make any sense to buy all of them all over again. I might buy them for the computer though, because I don't have them all for the computer, but I do have all of them for PlayStation. I don't have all of them for Xbox because my Xbox is a red ring, so one day I get around to repairing that. But let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and um subscribe um below. And um, see you next time.